Good thing I stopped that other video. It was at an hour and 15 minutes. Sorry about that. That's just part of the... Part of it. So let's look at it again. Get a good idea what's going on. Let's see where we're going to start. I'm hesitant to knock that hunk of iron that has drifted from somewhere up here. You can see how is it, as the iron breaks down, it just rolls over everything and just coats it. Do you know that? We've had this discussion. I might could take some of that off. See, there's not a lot of wood missing. Look, it's flush with the breech block, baby. Right there. Alright, let me get you set up. This is a little sideways, but you might be able to see and participate a little bit. Because what I wanted to do is get it to where you can see the wood here. And get a little bit more of this off. It seems to be coming off pretty good now. I don't like going sideways when the grain is going that way. But if I've got a good ledge to get under, I'm okay with it. Oh, it's just lifting right off. See, that is great because that means that metal rescue stuff actually leached under all this because this this didn't man my phone is going to be yonkies or is that yours maybe one of y'all's phones i keep hearing a phone i need glasses on as long as i chip it off and still see the grain and don't see a big gash mark from this. I am hap hap happy. rock it's a piece of wood that is an error. That's my bad. That's my my mistake. That's my error. I need to go paint this screwdriver black because it keeps reflecting in my eyeballs. So I wonder as I wonder right here what this is. touching the trigger anymore. It's like build a bear but with a gun you just chip away until you when you get done there's a there's a beautiful burn side carbine underneath it. I'm getting pretty good with the hammer time too, if I do say so myself. You know what I forgot to do? 
Oh, it's, that's some noise maker in there too. I want this one out. It's too loud. It's giving me extra vibrations that I do not need. Look at this moment. I just wonder what this the giant fat black stuff is. That is a rock that might go away, but I'm not going to make it go away. It's getting hot out here. There was a large rock sitting right here. Fall off the table though, if you don't mind, because it's pretty good to the ground. Can you see okay right there? I'd like all this slop gone. What, babe? What is that? Oh. No, I don't. She's gonna bring me an umbrella. Thanks, though, Norlin. I want y'all to be able to see. The wind is nice. It's already pretty warm. Smooth up a lot. Huh. Ah, oh, yeah, it worked. Look at that. Look at that. You can see around it now. I'm going to be honest with you. I really thought I was going to end up breaking the whole thing off just then. And since I don't do a lot of, uh, or any, editing. I want that one rock gone right there. I couldn't hide it. Oh my goodness, it's looking so good, isn't it? That's actually where you would pull this down. Can you see what I'm looking at? Let me touch the screen here. Not so much. You would pull this down, pull the whole thing open, the whole breech block was hooked to this. Where the breech would open. So that may be what that little void is right there. Not a little boy, a little void. I'd really like to sit down with y'all. Let me see if I can get this where I can sit down and you can still be a part of it. Oh yeah, I'm a little more comfy now. Okay, that's all that needs to be done. Because it won't take but one little tap to get rid of that whole bar. And 
and that's not what we want to do. Oh yeah, it's getting flat. You need to get her closer. You keep you keep walking away. You're not paying very good attention. Okay, look. I hear you. Better stop banging right there, dude, or you're gonna break the whole thing off. I heard you. It's a lot more visible now, though, isn't it? Pretty cool. There's one little clump right here, though. If I could get it off, it'd really show the way the metal rolls. Oh yeah, it came off nice. Look at that. I'm still a little nervous to do a lot on this side. I'm feeling better now. Let's try it. I don't know. This is the side that was on the bottom. It was laying down flat, but you know that already. So let's go back to this side. What else do you think? Stop while you're ahead. Change your name to Fred. Or. Clean up the forearm area a little bit. Look over here. Like right here. You can see the pin through here now. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it a little more visible. Talked to a, uh, a medical professional about putting this thing in an x-ray to see if you could possibly see if it was loaded. The problem is, metal on an x-ray shows up white. And I knew that, but I didn't know if he knew some secret method to see if there's a hunk of lead inside this metal. Can you feel the wind in your face? really bold I would try to get a little grinding wheel and grind it back to where it was really nice metal in there but I'm not gonna do that so did anybody look up how long it takes a piece of wood to petrify Thank you. 
This piece of gravel, or this little bit of gravel right here, I'd like gone. But I don't want to. Ah, good, it came off. I don't want the saddle ring to come off. There's where I got into the wood a little bit. That is all fine gravel in there. I'm not going to mess with that. And I don't know about the sights. You know, is that... You can see where the sight would flip up right there. But I don't know if I should take that off. I need to look at a picture of it. Let's look. You want to? Oh, I got messages. I got issues. Did you get them too? I'm texting Zach. Now let me find the pictures. Okay, we gotta go to... Burnside. That's Zach. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There it is all clean on one side. Okay, here we go. I don't see the sights. You probably can't see that at all. You can see the little, can you see that? You can see the little uh, ring right there, and so there's a screw over here. And the metal, oh, there we go. The metal is to right here. Of course. There is a little gap in here, so all of this could potentially go away. There's a the little, I'm not pushing, I'm just gently, gently. I would like to clean it up right there. I can't believe I didn't get a picture of the other side. Okay, there's the side. Can you see that? The sun came out real bright again. You can't see that. It looks like it is all flat up to here. So, do you want to try it? Don't, don't be ugly if I error. Okay. Please. I sent so many emails so many universities about this thing asking for assistance and guidance including the United States Navy archaeological area I know oh I did it I never heard a thing back so I watched video after video after video of archaeologists not of other metal detectors because I have not found a metal detector is demo who found a carbine, a rifle, a musket, or anything and showed the restoration process. Sure, a lot of people have found them. 
But nobody shows what they did. They just show it to you, and you, they may stick it in electrolysis or something if it's... But actually, no, I've never seen a gun. A found metal detecting gun. See, that's where you mess up. You get to push on the outside edge, and the whole thing disappears. But there, now we've got a visible sight. Look at that. So you can uh, look at every metal technique video you can find. And other than electrolysis, which I've never thought was a good idea, electricity and water. I'm going to clean up up here a little more. There was moss in there. I thought I got all the animals off this thing. Yeah, what I was saying was I couldn't find anybody who has done this yet. I'm not saying it makes me special. It means I can't find anybody who's done this yet, so I'm just doing it myself. And I got a, my, one of my absolute favorite professors in college, which who's an expert on Alabama Civil War and all that. I was, I didn't get in touch with him. I don't know why. You know what it's supposed to look like through a photograph. It brings to mind an old Def Leppard song. Then you can almost get back to that eventually. So let's see where we are. Yeah, we got all the pieces almost showing. The sun is changing its position. So let's move. I'll come over here a little bit more. There you go. Are you still watching or did you check out? Just put check out in the comments. You know what I was thinking about too? I went back. If you have a YouTube channel, you know what I'm talking about. You can go back and look at how many people from what company, what, what percentage of people are in a certain country that watch your videos and how many, how many are men, how many are women. You know, an age range. I guess you, if, if you fill out all the stuff, and I don't know how YouTube knows how old you are. It doesn't tell me how old you are, but it says, you know, your target area or you're viewed by this age bracket or something. And mine's pretty wide, which is awesome. Look at that little bug up there. Go fly away. I'm busy working right here. Go. But here's the kicker. I think I told you this before notice at the end of my videos I don't think I've ever said hit that like button hit that ooh, hit that thumbs up do this do that because I thought well if people enjoy your videos they're just gonna watch them and, and you ain't gonna say anything which is true but here's this oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we're getting down into the block now which is good The funny thing is, 85% of my views are from people who are not subscribed. So you want to make sure, we need to make sure we're still level here. Here we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. 
85%. So that means out of my subscribers, 85% of y'all who watch do not subscribe. So I'm going to try this once and see if it even makes a difference. If you watch my videos and like them, please subscribe. I do know when it comes to fame and stardom on YouTube, which is not what I'm searching for, I love this wind. It feels good. I repeat, as I have before, I do this for my kids. There'll be a record when I buck the kick it. They have all these goofy videos of me chopping away on this rusted up old gun. Because I save all my videos too, in case YouTube does go away tomorrow. I'll still have them on a uh, external drive. I forget what I was talking about. So if you subscribe, I want to see if it changes. If you watch my videos on a regular basis or just dropped in today to say hello, subscribe. That does not change how much money uh, a person gets who has a YouTube channel. It don't matter if you got half a million subscribers. If they're not watching your videos, it don't make a difference. You can have a channel with 20,000 subscribers and 20 million views. It's views that help the YouTuber actually make any money at all. Of course, I'm not to the point in my YouTube career. I mean, it's not a career. I just do this for fun. <laughs> Where I make a lot of money. Otherwise, I would have just paid somebody to do this. Probably not. This is more fun. So when you want, you see people want you just to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, please. Do this, do that, subscribe, subscribe, hit that like button. That doesn't mean. I guess there's a misconception that it's a uh, that it's subscribers that make or break you. It's views. If all of y'all unsubscribe tomorrow or today, maybe in a minute, or do it right now but yet still kept watching my videos as long as there's ads see that's a drop that's too far if there's ads on anyone's videos they're making a few pennies per ad whether you're subscribed or not so I guess all I'm asking you to do this one time subscribe to my channel and let me see this if you're not subscribed and let me see how many y'all are the 85 percent who watch yet do not subscribe and then if you decide after you see the change and i see the change that you'd rather just unsubscribe because you don't want a bunch of people in your subscribed section subscribe to because it does get a little overwhelming you forget who's who. You kind of feel obligated to watch. I do that. One of my favorite guys is a, a BST Forge fella that made me that knife and sent it to me. And I like his channel. He's already got, what's it called, merch? He's got t-shirts and everything. I like him. I'm subscribed to him. But since I'm subscribed to a few other people too, I, I get lost and I don't know when he's actually put something out. So, what do you think? Do we stop? Or do you see any areas I might could work on a little bit more? The wood's actually getting pretty. It's kind of low. The brown is coming back other than the places where there's the iron is in the uh, in the grain. That yellow right there is sludge, I believe, from the tank. I don't know. I kind of want some of that gone don't want to 
break off my slide. Nicely. So did I make any sense? Bottom line, 85% of my views are from people who don't subscribe. So I, I'm thrilled you watch the videos and like them. I hope you like them. If you don't, hit that button that has like a, a thumbs down. I think it's a thumb. I don't think they got one that gives you like the bird finger yet, which is good. They start putting that on there. I'd be in trouble. I get some rough comments sometimes that go in this little section. When you dog cuss me or something like that, it goes into like a little folder of words I've created that I don't want to see. And then my kids don't want to see and nobody else's kids want to see. So it goes inside a little folder for me to review it. So... That's why you don't see a substantial amount of cussing. But it takes work. You 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 have got to go in there and look at it. I imagine when you get a bazillion subscribers, you just you don't respond to anybody anymore. You don't talk to anybody anymore. You don't email anybody back. You don't say hey. You don't do nothing. I hope that. I enjoy the emails and the comments. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That actually all came off all the way down to the wood. <sighs> Amazing how hard it is, isn't it? Have I said that before? I'm still a little nervous about that rock. Can you see that rock? Let's take it off. We'll do a barely tap. Ha! Not so bad after all. But what if there was a hairline cracked all the way through there and that whole piece broke off? I'll be breaking out the Gorilla Glue, bruh. What's up, bruh? Hey, bruh. Bro, what are you doing that gun, bro? I thought of a viral video series I could do, but it's not real nice. It would be funny. I gotta tell you. Becky, I don't know if I showed you if you're watching this video. You may be bored. Becky, the man purse maker. My bride used her man purse. We went out yesterday and went to a little creek. Ended up not finding much, so I didn't uh, keep the video. And uh, But she carried her purse. You made her. Her little treasure purse with all the ruffles and stuff on it. It's pretty cool. I still want to do, uh, I want to do t shirts, I think. But I don't have a, uh, I don't know how to do that because I don't know who would. What do you do? Go out and buy. You get in touch with some company, so they say, yeah, we'll make your t-shirt. You can, you can buy them for $10 a piece. We get $5 a piece, that's $15. And you can sell them for $18 a piece, so that's $3 for you. And it may not be that drastic, I don't know. Then, but we only need you to order 500 and then nobody wants them. I guess it'd be okay because I wear t-shirts a lot. I could just wear them all the time. But I, don't, I just don't need a lot of t-shirts, that many. It's 
so I guess I'm asking. Anybody have any interest in exploring out loud t-shirts? Olenberger is the quote man. Gary, I believe, is his first name. I hope it's okay that I say that. Too late. He has <laughs> started this long spreadsheet of my quotes, which is pretty awesome. I didn't realize I said such stuff. So we could do t-shirts with some quotes. I don't know how to quote myself because I don't know what I, I say on a normal basis. I'm just chit-chatting with y'all. So do I take a chance with all that? What if that whole trigger just falls off? I'm gonna vote no. Don't be ridiculous, dude. I'll just leave that thing alone. I remember we was in the woods one day and Bubba Dunn found him one of them shotgun like Hey, speaking of guns, I was talking to my mother yesterday. Remember the video where I went looking for the family rifle that got dropped in the creek? We were just sitting there chit chatting about it. And I believe when she told me the story, is when she was going through some pretty significant health issues and you know sometimes her mom would slip a little bit but she's all back now she's good to go she's told me about the gun that was dropped in the creek by her dad my people grandpappy dude And I asked her again, I said, do you know exactly, roughly, exactly where he dropped it? She said, yes. She said, he got up and took off all his clothes, of course his unders, and left his hat on and jumped in the water and then got it. Well, she never told me he found it until yesterday. So after all these years of pondering how to find that thing, even going looking for it, it's not there. He found it. That's where it would, this should be squared off, and that should be squared off. I keep hitting my finger, but that's really not important right now. This should have a nice line. It's actually moisture coming out. No way in the world that thing has a cavity all the way up in there. Jilly, hand me a tool. I need something for right here. Get the floss. I don't know, maybe it's just getting warm enough to where it, uh, it's kind of cooking itself out of there. Hey look, no ugly clear fingernail polish is coming off good. I'd like to get that line back. That went in my eyeball. I got it out. If I can't get it out of my eye, I'll just put some metal rescue in my eye. Let's look at this side now. It would be nice to clean up all around that, wouldn't it? We need to uh, put this right here, though. Look at all that. See, there is a sling It's just like it's gone. It's possibly in here. Sling holder. I 
Let's look at another. Come on. I gotta go put on some sunscreen. Come here. Can you see okay? I'm gonna put some back of the screen and it lights up so I can see. You can see okay, can you? Now, if I could get cleaned up down in here, let's look at this side again. Let me look at the picture. Hang on. I might have to take a break in a second. I forgot I was looking at pictures. I wish you could see that. I don't think you can see that. I need it closed. There is a drop down right there where the hammer hits. I know that is so not a good picture. Huh? See that? That's the back of the phone. Probably looks like the front, doesn't it? And then nothing but the circle. But this is pretty fat. That is actually the whole piece. Now this is not. This. All this. I'm looking at the picture as I'm pointing. It goes up and around. And it sits flush right there. But this hammer is actually on the outside of the gun. Here's the kicker. There were different models of these. And I don't know which model I have. But I believe all that right there. All that needs to come off. sludge so that means it's not supposed to be there. I could do without that extra tapping too, sorry. I'm working on it. It's tough to get my play my PlayStation set up. See I don't want to uh I don't know I keep saying the same thing over and over. I don't want to knock that slide off the other side. Zach is going nuts though texting me. I'm ready to get in the water again. He's wanting to talk, talk shop or something. Oh, Zach's a good guy. If you've never checked out Zach Bird Adventure Hour. Great family, he's thinking awesome bunch of friends. Friends all accepted me into their little group. Never made fun of me to my face. Brandon, are you watching? James, you guys making fun of me right now? Okay, there. It goes down and around, up, and then sits on the side. That one sure looks like it sits inside, though. I can't tell. Ha, huh, doesn't it sits on the side? I see it. Just pretend like you're at the beach and you're like slap burning up and that wind feels so good on your skin, your face. That's what I used to do in the middle of winter. That's what I still do in winter. It's freezing cold outside. I just pretend like I'm at the beach. And that cold air is just making me feel good. So, it goes around there. I think that goes away. That looks like a rock. We got it. There's the drop. See it? It goes around there and around there and up. Okay, so that hump needs to go away. 
Is that thing bright in y'all's eyes too? muscles I didn't even know I had. You ever do that? Yeah, I need to stop. I gotta call Zach. But first, this is giving me that means you want another one to look up tar nation or have we done that one before okay we're gonna stop this okay I'm gonna stop okay I'm done I'm gonna take it inside let it cool off put some more no rust on it on the barrel and everything. We'll do that right now. Because I don't want to get, I gotta be careful picking it up. And I'll probably do up here too. I don't know if I'll do there yet. Because I would like it to dry out up here. necessarily want it on the wood a whole lot just because I'm not sure I'm gonna wash out that little cavity we'll do the this is the rust dry coat that's upside down just turn your computer upside down real quick and read that okay I'm done on this round. I gotta stop. What do you think? I like it. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And if you do remember, go ahead and subscribe. All 85% of y'all who watch who have not subscribed, just subscribe. And then, uh, like I say, if you're not feeling the urge to go full subscription later, Unsubscribe. I just want to see if there's any change. Thanks for watching my videos.